Yo, what's up guys? This is my first video. I'm gonna do uh, just some basic Lyman stuff. Um, you can write in the comments what you want me to do. But I'm gonna do some basic knots that we use in the field and uh, just go over them. First, I'm gonna do the square knot. Imagine this was the, another end of the rope. Left over right. Right over left. That's your square knot. Join two ropes, doesn't get too tight. Super fast, super easy. Bowling, use this pretty often. Do a little loop. Come down, around. And through. It'll look like that when you're done with it. Put this knot and it doesn't get too tight you can undo it pretty easily you'll use this a lot in the field um we got the double bowling i don't really use this that often but they say this is one of the basic knots same thing as the bowling just double the rope up double the rope up come down make a loop and I can't remember all the right terminology and whatever, but come through, come over the main part of the rope and back through the hole. That's your double bowling. Again, won't get too tight. You can make this in the middle of a rope. Timber hitch, I use this a lot. This is nice. Uh, when we do hurt man rescue, we actually do a timber hitch around the leg. Most places only do half hitches on your arms but we do the company I work for we do a part around your leg also but timber hitch you know you could do it around a pole your arm anything but make a loop around come back to the rope that you were on do three over and unders here and that's a timber hitch it won't slide tight around a pole or Pitch of a truck or anything and it just holds on real tight nice like that and you can also finish it if you want to even be more secure you can finish the last one with a half hitch that'll hold it even tighter but the regular timber hitch ain't going nowhere it's a timber hitch right there then safety knot like i was saying company i work for we do um we do our pull top rescue a lot different than most other places, but we use something called a safety knot and you can use this knot for sending stuff up on a hand line too. It works real good. So you got the line hanging down, grab with one hand, twist, and then grab the top part of the line and pull it through. I don't even know if I'm doing this right right now. Let's see. Grab it, twist, pull through. Yep, and then you got your safety knot. You can send up water bottles, send up tools, and then it slides through, and then super easy to undo. And then, well, what we do with the safety knot, I might as well tell you. We pull out about 12 feet when we're doing Hurt Man Rescue. So I'll just show you one instance of using it. We pull out 12 foot, so you know, two arm lengths, six foot, six foot, 12 foot. We do a safety knot. Put it, we put this around our chest. So you have the hand line up on the pole like this. So we have a safety knot around our chest and then we run it down around our leg and then do a, um, do a timber hitch on our leg, and that's how we do Hurtman Rescue. Um, a lot of people are gonna say it's unnecessary and stupid and takes too long. Guy will probably be dead before you ever get him to the ground, but it seems to work pretty good. The guy won't fall out. Some guys just do. You know, most places where I worked before, they'll, for Hurtman Rescue, they'll just come here and do, uh, you know, do some half hitches, do three half hitches here and then eh, that should be good it's gonna hurt like hell but it should be good but sometimes i've seen it 
people do it and it'll slide through the arms if guys are trying to go too fast or get nervous and don't make it tight enough or not so the leg will definitely help with that and then the last one i was going to go over was the half hitch um super easy do it around anything do it around my arm here do a little half hitch here i think i'm doing this right that's how i do it half hitch and you know you can finish it off with a couple more three half hitches super quick super easy it's not gonna slide it will get tight though um so yeah those are a couple basic knots um, i'm gonna start doing a bunch of little videos to help the newer guys start in the trade and see write in the comments if you want to see anything else um, and we start coming out with a bunch of different little videos let me know what you think